Hello, it is me, Steve Miller, with a frog in my throat, but I'm going to carry on. Yes, clinical hypnotherapist, um, published author and media contributor. Now, in this Sunday roast, what I actually want to roast is that debilitating condition, <coughs> excuse me, of depression. How do we actually manage it better and potentially actually ditch it, get rid of it? In this video, I'm going to explain how. Now, some of you may be aware that a few years ago, I was the co-founder of the Hypno Antidepressant, which was uh, featured in the media. And I did that with uh, Dr. Sue Peacock. So some of what I'm going to reference in, in this video relates back to what we did. Now, what I want you to do is to get yourself a pen and paper, and I'm going to talk through five strategies, five things that you can do to roast depression, ditch depression, and start to feel a lot better about yourself. Okay, the very first thing that I want to recommend as I crib the notes here is getting the food right. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything that you should eat because that would be ridiculous and take far too long. But what I am going to do is to talk to you about what you can do to increase your vitamin D level, which we do know helps us manage depression, helps us feel a lot better about ourselves, potentially. So here are a few things that I want you to use, start eating, start taking, <clears throat> so that you increase your levels and optimize your levels, uh, enhance your levels of vitamin D. By the way, before I do this, if you are struggling badly, please do see your doctor. This video does not substitute a clinician's input. Please make sure you see your doctor. Vitamin D. Okay. Oily fish. We're talking about eggs. We're talking about more sunlight. And we're talking about things like mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms, believe it or not. So I want you to think about what you're doing to increase your level of vitamin D. It will help you. Number two, now, one of the interesting things that I found when I was researching this some years ago is that colour can actually have an impact on our mood. So <clears throat> there are several research colours that can show that that can increase your joy and that can potentially enhance your mood. So here they are. Green. That's that's one of the main ones that I found. Yellow increases our feelings of joy, white, blue, blue for being calm, and finally, orange for feelings of joy. Now, <clears throat> what you need to be thinking about is how do I use this information practically? Now, that might be, for example, the decoration in your home. It can be colors you've got in the car. It can be uh, items that you've got on your desk at work, you know, the, the way the, the room is decorated itself. So start thinking about how you can integrate color therapy into your management of depression. So, so far, we've looked at vitamin D increases, supporting that, and also strategy number two, making sure we're using evidence-based colors that can potentially help us a lot to roast depression. The third thing uh, I have is a common sense one. It's about movement, right? So what we're talking about here, there is an absolute correlation between mood and movement. So what I encourage you to do is safe exercise. If you can build some into your routine just for 15, 20 minutes a day, it will enhance your mood. Now, the next section links into hypnosis a little bit, and I'm calling this mind medicine. And what I want to encourage you to do when it is safe to do so is to sit on your own and I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate this on the video as well, it'll help, is to actually sit tall, okay, when it's safe to do so, To obviously you don't do this when you're driving or using dangerous machinery, sit tall and make sure there is very little distraction around you, closing your eyes, and what I want to encourage you to do is to imagine, it can just take two minutes a day, that you, and you actually do lift your hand to do this, you imagine that there is a spoon of mood enhanced medicine and you are going to slightly open them out and imagine the, using the power of your creative genius imagine that that mood magic so to speak you are actually taking that and allow it to then drift into your mind okay so what you're doing here is using the power of your imagination remembering that the mind really can't tell the difference between what's real and what's not 
So you're actually using a very creative strategy, creative visualization strategy to enhance your mood. Now, what's important when you do this is that you are also sitting tall and deliberately smiling as well, okay? So that there is a congruence going on. What I don't encourage you to do is to sit uh, slightly hunched over uh, in a relaxed position. I want you to feel the joy of it. So strategy number four, which aligns to a degree of uh, with hypnosis, is mind medicine. Now, my final one, strategy five, I'm calling it satisfying stimulation. Now, what that means is making sure that you are stimulated in life. Did you know a lot of people get stressed when they don't have any stimulation? So what am I talking about? I'm talking about making sure that you've got some concrete goals that excite you and enthuse you. If they don't excite and enthuse, ditch, start again. I'm talking about accomplishment, okay? So making sure you've got something to stretch you and your mind uh, daily, monthly, annually, whatever. And that includes, of course, your, your own ambition. So what I've done in this video so that we can start to roast depression, first of all, making sure that I've made it clear that you should consult your GP if you're struggling with depression and anxiety. That is very important. But coming back to this video, number one, I've talked about encouraging and enhancing your levels of vitamin D. Number two, using evidence-based color therapy. Number three, movement, making sure that you're carrying out daily exercise safely. Number four, strategy four was hypnotic mind medicine. And finally, number five, satisfying stimulation. That's right. So uh, I encourage you to carry that out. Remember, every Sunday is Steve's Sunday Roast, where I take a subject, I roast it to support you and to uh, make life better. On that note, thanks for watching and speak to you soon. Bye for now.